Senator, let's see, I gotta figure out who's, Senator Warren is next. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for holding this hearing, and thank you, Administrator Tavener, for being here to provide us with an update. Uh, I want to talk about Massachusetts. Um, everyone's frustrated by the first few weeks of healthcare.gov, and everyone's looking for answers, including me. But last week, President Obama came to Boston where he said health reform in Massachusetts, like the Affordable Care Act, is not a website. It's a values statement. And the president is right. Leaders in Massachusetts, like generations of national leaders, sought to reform health care, not because it was easy, but because we all knew that the old system was broken. For years, costs exploded, insurance companies discriminated against people with pre-existing conditions, too many consumers and patients, including those with insurance, were threatened with financial ruin if they got sick. Now, there have been a lot of comparisons between the ACA rollout and our experience in Massachusetts. And what I can tell you all from the experience is that getting everyone into a new healthcare system wasn't easy and it wasn't quick. In the first month that people could sign up for subsidized coverage during our health reform launch in 2007, we got 123 people enrolled. But because we were committed to making the law work and making sure that people had affordable health care, we kept working on it. We fixed the problems, we hit the pavement, we did whatever it took to get people signed up. Our enrollment period for subsidized insurance lasted almost a full year, and yet it was only in the last month that 20% of the total pool got themselves enrolled. People signing up for unsubsidized insurance had a shorter period of time, and yet over a quarter of them waited until the last month to get enrolled. Um, so I understand that the beginning of an enrollment period is important. It allows people to shop and to carefully evaluate their options. But what we learned in Massachusetts is that when it comes to enrolling in health care, many of us wait until the end to get it done. So Administrator Tavener, what did the administration anticipate would be the pattern of enrollment through the exchanges? What would it look like over time prior what were you thinking about prior to the launch of healthcare.gov? And do you think that the early problems you've had are going to affect the long-term pattern in enrollment? So we always assumed that we would be able to enroll folks throughout the six months, but that the greatest surge would come in December because we thought there were people who'd want to get covered January 1, and then the second surge would probably come late February, early March by those individuals who probably weren't as motivated to get insurance but understood they needed it and it was required by law. So we had enrollment figures, um, but they were lower for October, and I think they will be low, and it pretty much follows the Massachusetts exper experience, and that was part of the reason for such a long enrollment period in the first year. So. You still are confident that you've got time, if you can get these problems fixed, to get yes. people enrolled? It's important for us to get the problems fixed in November, but yes, I think we have time. Well, good. Um, I know we agree that the problems with the website are unacceptable, that they need to be fixed, but our experience in Massachusetts suggests that it might be prudent for us to take a deep breath about this. Uh, I'm sympathetic to your position. The launch of our own Health Connector website for insurance wasn't smooth, but we kept working on it. And when we had data mapping and volume problems during our launch in 2007, we kept working on it. And when we needed our own tech surge to fix it, we kept working on it. We kept working on it because we stayed focused on what mattered, our conviction that no one deserved to be bankrupted or shut out of the health care system when they got sick. So. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Senator Warren.